good morning and welcome back to my channel my name is laura if you're new here i'd love you to hit subscribe and follow along with my journey sorry if you can hear a little bit of road noise i had to crack the door because it is heating up in here i'm actually i've got you set up on my desk and i'm split my legs across my walking pad i'm in a bit of an awkward setup but i didn't want to get sunstroke in my eyes happy march march is colon cancer awareness month so if you follow me on Instagram, you'll already know that I'm walking 31,000 steps a day for colon cancer awareness month. I myself was diagnosed with colon cancer at 31 and I wanted it to be a statistically significant number. Yes, it is a whopping amount of steps to achieve in a day and it does take me a significant amount of time. So that's been taking up a big bulk of my day, integrating that in with work and other responsibilities and social stuff. It's, it has been a challenge, but the whole point was it was supposed to be a challenge. If I set it to 20,000, because I was diagnosed in 2021, I thought maybe I could do 20,000, 21 steps, but I do achieve those steps often on a given day, especially when I'm coaching and on my feet and I'm out and about walking. So I wanted it to be challenging and that it has been. I'm definitely feeling it on the old legs. Um, I am fundraising through BC Cancer, so I will have a link below if you would like to give. No pressure to do so, but if you are able, all of the funds will be going to colon cancer research. A lot of the research for colon cancer is done in older patients as that's where they have typically seen uh, the diagnosis occur. But we are seeing a lot more in younger people and a lot of the reasons that we believe we're seeing it are just estimation. So we want to have some more accurate data on why younger people are getting colon cancer at such a young age and how we can find those signs and symptoms and get to it early. Yeah, that's something that is a big priority and a big focus for me in March. And like I said, taking up a lot of my time. So I've already got 11,000 steps on the treadmill this morning. I've got a treadmill desk and I'm going to head out shortly and go for a bit of a walk outside. As you can see, it's a beautiful day and the weather is definitely improving across the week as well. It's supposed to get up to 18 degrees this Sunday. So I'm really excited about that. It's going to be so stunning. We had spring forward on Sunday, so slightly longer days. Last night, Ty and I had a date night and I should have vlogged it, but we went to commercial drive and it was so beautiful. We had Ty and we just walked around and yeah, uh, it just made me think of summer, which is just really exciting. Anyway, I'm going to take you along my little day. I'm going to get some more work done, head out for a walk, and then I'm actually meeting a friend for a walk. It's his birthday. Ty's meeting us as well. We're going to grab a decaf coffee. Yeah, we'll see what I get up to. I'm just about to head out the door. I, where did I put my drink bottle in? Over here. I am going to go get blood work done. It's a bit confusing for me and I often miss my uh, required blood work because every three months I have to get blood work for my gastroenterologist and my surgeon. And then every three months I also have to get blood work for my oncologist and the dates don't align and I go to different places. So I go to BC Cancer, to get the blood work for the oncologist. And then I go to just regular lab tests anywhere for the blood work for the gastroenterologist and the surgeon. So I often find that I miss one or the other and I feel I'm on top of it and I try to put it in my calendar, but I've dropped the ball and I'm late. I was supposed to get this uh, mid February and it's now middle of March and I haven't got the blood work done. They do have my blood work that I did get from my oncologist that said it was all clear and fine. So that should be, no dramas, it's really just more of a precaution and so that they have that data. I'm gonna race to do that now. I really hope they don't have a big queue because I can't book a spot there, it's just drop-in. So I've packed my bag, I've got my headphones, I've got the blood rack, I've got my Kindle, got some water, I've got um, some electrolytes, <laughs> backup headphones, sunscreen, just in case I sweat it off and need to reapply and sunnies, so let's go. You always have to keep me company on my desk, don't you? She went to the groomers last week. She was a very naughty girl. Supposed to cost 75 for a groom and nail cut. And she cost us 140 because she was so grisly. And she swiped at them. <laughs>
coffee from so I got an oat latte latte flat white I ordered it oat latte no it's a flat white Both getting the raspberry jelly. Mm. <laughs> so yeah, Look at so all these. Yeah, just driving home we met up with a friend and it was his birthday so we got a coffee we walked on the seawall went to granville island markets as you would have seen and they got a lee's donut i got a cinnamon record i've got half of it in my pocket here but i ate half of it and really enjoyed it it was such a beautiful sunny day just before and it has started to cloud over uh so i'm glad we got back when we did because it did start to drizzle a little bit we're headed home now gonna wrap up some little work bits ty's got rehearsal tonight so I might go to Sophie and James for dinner. James is apparently making zucchini fritters. Um, I don't know if he's made them before, so it could be amazing. I don't think I've mentioned, but I actually, this is the faded look of a black eye. I got a black eye on, not Saturday just gone, but the Saturday before at netball, somebody elbowed me and it really hurt, but only really when I touched it or I put, you know, so obviously if I was putting face cream on or washing my face or trying to take makeup off it really hurt but it was so dark that's actually one of the reasons I didn't vlog because every time I opened the camera to look at myself I just immediately was put off and felt insecure about it so it was a challenging week with client calls and everyone obviously asking about it I just feel that yeah it just made me insecure so that is definitely fading obviously I'm not wearing any makeup today I'm just wearing sunscreen James has made us dinner. We just popped to the convenience store to get some diet ginger beers and some boom chicka pop. Well, we didn't go to get this. This is new, haven't had it before. It's not very good. Is it not very good? No. Um, not a rave review over here. And then we actually got this, or Sophie and James got this from Trader Joe's, which is very delicious. And James has made zucchini fritters, which, oh look, he's got them bacon. He's got the whole apron on. Kuma fries or sweet potato fries. It looks so good. If it's not dishwasher safe it, i mean it doesn't matter it doesn't matter if it gets a bit distorted but i just i wonder because it's made of like I feel I've been pretty bad at vlogging today, uh, so I'll just update you on what I've been up to. I did wash my hair and I didn't get enough time to fully blow dry it, so it's a little bit fluffy, but that's okay. If I put a little bit of hair product on it, and I don't know if this is just me, but when you sleep on it one night, it's always best the next day. That's what I find anyway. I'm just hanging out with Gibby. I just got home from Sophie and James. It was so lovely that they made dinner because as, I don't know if I've mentioned it, but most evenings Ty is rehearsing until about 10.30 p.m. So we had our date night last night, but we often don't get to spend the evenings together, probably five or six nights out of the week. We don't. So it's nice that I can just pop across the street. Have I mentioned before that I live across the street from my sister? I feel like I have. If you're new here, I live across the street from my sister. So that's really nice. I've just come home though, and it's so nice that it's still light. It's only quarter past seven because we had a really early dinner. So I'm going to 
self tan. I usually self tan on a Wednesday. It just kind of works out that it's the best day of the week for me to do it. I plan to self tan. I'm gonna do my skincare and have an Indra Creamy. Maybe read a bit of my book. Maybe watch some Netflix. I don't know. Just have a really chill night by myself. I do have an early start tomorrow, and I have been getting up a little bit earlier. Or not so much getting up a little bit earlier, but the first thing I do when I get up, drink some water, and then I'm straight on the treadmill and I make a coffee so that I can get some steps in before I start my day. I find that if I get 15,000 really early in the day, then when I'm sitting down for work calls and stuff throughout the day, it's fine and it's not, it's totally manageable. 31,000 steps is a big challenge and it's made me super reflective. I often think, almost every day about why I'm doing what I'm doing and more so that just every time that I kind of think oh got to get the steps I yeah I just it puts me into a reflective headspace and I feel so grateful that I'm able to that I'm so able-bodied that 31,000 steps only causes me a bit of discomfort or takes up a bit of my time rather than it being something that feels impossible when a lot of these things, that would have felt physically impossible a few years ago when I was going through my surgeries. I say a few years ago now, but it is a few years ago or a couple of years ago. I was diagnosed in no uh, October of 2021. So that is, yeah, two and a bit years ago, which is just crazy. That's crazy to think that that much time has flown by. I also just realized at the end of Feb that it was one year with the J pouch. I think I'm going to do a separate kind of update on where I'm at with the J pouch, but I do get a few questions, especially if you follow me over on IG, I DM and voice note with quite a few of you. Just think it's easier to communicate with sensitive information there rather than in YouTube comments. I love engaging with YouTube comments. However, yeah, if you want to chat or ask more personal questions, about you know like my journey and or your journey you want to share something with me please feel free to private message me there um but i i update occasionally on there in terms of where i'm at and it's been a year with the j pouch and i feel that i'm out of that flare that i was having towards the end of last year that i basically had for about three months that was really unbearable and i know i didn't get into the nitty-gritty but it was just exhausting it was so exhausting and I'm really glad to be on the other end of that and I think that now that that is over I'll be able to prevent it from happening or when it's in its early stages I know what to do now where I didn't know what to do before so here's hoping I've been rubbing my eyes I, I keep doing it now I've been rubbing my eyes so they're looking a little bit red I think I'm feeling a bit tired So sometimes I do like to add mix-ins and today I've added a meringue in here and I just crush it in and then you use the mix-in feature. It just adds a little bit of texture, a little bit of something, something. This massage gun that Ty bought has been saving my life. When you like push down, it goes harder and yeah, it's been so helpful on my calves. I've just got a visitor. She just climbed up on my lap. I've freshly tanned and wearing my dressing gown and Gibby loves, like love, love, loves the texture of my dressing gown or fleece or anything like that. She just loves to be snugly on it. Oh, you're such a good girl. Okay, you can definitely tell I've got my self tanner on. I am gonna put my PJs on shortly. I'm just getting ready for bed. I took a CBD gummy, gonna read my bed, gonna read my bed and book gonna read my book in bed. Um, I wanted to show you that Ty bought me this cute little cup the other day. Um, I like to wash my drink bottle uh, every other night because I have electrolytes in it and they get up in the straw. I've got a hydro flask and I only have one drink bottle. I've mentioned before that I won't buy into that whole Stanley Cup thing. There's just 
outrageously expensive for effectively a hydro flask cup I, I don't I really don't get the craze of it this is a really thoughtful gift for my bedside table because it's a really large cup and I drink a lot of water in the night so if I just put a glass cup and my drink bottles in the dishwasher then I will finish it and I'll have to refill it multiple times in the night I do drink quite a bit in the night I'm a mouth breather. I wish I wasn't a mouth breather. I've tried mouth tape. If you've got any other tips, let me know. Try breathing through my nose, but I always bust out of the mouth tape and I feel like I'm not getting enough oxygen in, but I am a mouth breather. And so I drink a lot of water because I wake up and it's super dry. So this I wouldn't have to refill. I also get up quite a bit in the night to go to the toilet uh, because of my J pouch. So yeah, it was just really sweet. He goes, I got you this cup for your bedside table, which, you know, I love. And, um, and I said to him, don't, I, you don't have to buy me that cup. Like, I'm sure that was expensive. He goes, no, 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 it was 50% off. So I think it only cost him $6 or something like that. We love a bargain. I really don't know how long this vlog was. I'm sorry if this video was a little bit short, but I did just want to do a little daily vlog, just check in, say that I'm doing well. And I do have a bit on my plate with work and everything else and this 31,000 steps is taking up a decent amount of my time. It turns out to be 25 kilometers a day. So we're 100% gonna go on with the massage gun before bedtime. I also think I want to get some magnesium spray uh, just to relax the muscles and some Epsom salts for the bath. It helps so much to just put my feet up and have a little bit of a rub, put some deep heat in. A massage makes such a huge difference from all of the tension that I'm carrying. So. Any little recovery things are key for me. I didn't have a hot bath today, but I definitely will tomorrow. It's fake tan night, so I can't have a hot bath now. But I'm going to wrap up this vlog. Thank you so much for joining me today, and I'll see you all in my next video.